In this video, I'm going to show you how to make audio visualizations like this. Let's get started. We will be using the open source wave.js library, which is a JavaScript library under the MIT license to achieve this kind of visualization animations for our sounds. There are two approaches to install this library, either through the th CDN or the NPM. To keep it simple, I will be using CDN to install this library. Now, I've already created a folder to, uh, to be used as our project. So you should follow along and create a new folder. I'm going to create a new file called index.html. And then I'm going to install this library to a CDN. Open with dive server to check if uh, anything goes wrong. Nothing goes wrong. Okay. Inside our body, in order to use this library, there are a few requirements. First, you need a canvas and then an audio. To create a canvas, it's as simple as declaring a canvas tag. And then we need to create an audio by typing an audio tag and give it a controls attribute. Inside the audio canvas, I need to declare a source tag and give it a source. Now, the source is going to be a audio file which you want to use to play your sounds. I'm going to go online and find any sound file which I like. Now I, I'm going to use this uh, Forest Lullaby music, which I found a few days ago. It is a uh, free to use music and I enjoy its music. I'm going to download it and go to my downloads directory. Then I'm going to drag it alongside the index.html file. I'm going to list this audio file inside my source. We can open with live server again to see if it's working. Okay, it's working now. Now we can get into wave, the use of wave.js library. I'm going to create a new script tag. Inside the script tag, we need to Mm, reference these tags and, and use them as JavaScript objects. And in order to do that, we need to create new variables and use document.querySelector and find those tags inside this query selector. So this will be referencing this tag. And then I'm going to reference the audio as well. Now that's done, we are going to create a new wave object. This wave object is uh, from the wave.js library. Let's see if anything goes wrong. So under the console, it's clean. So I guess it's correct for now. Well, in order to achieve a better visualization, we are going to be making the body's background as black. Black color. Very good. Let's set the canvas's uh, width and height. Width. Maybe let's give it a uh, 
80% of the HTML width and the height is gonna be it's gonna be 80% um, as well fabulous now this whole screen about 80% of the uh, whole HTML screen is gonna be our canvas we can start adding animations to the wave object and there are quite a few animations that you can use for the wave object and here are those animations the first one is going to be a wave don't let this wave word misguide you this wave is not it does not refer to the wave library but a, a wave animation next we have cubes and then circles after that we have globe shine um, square area uh, oops ox these are the animations provided by the wave.js library we can try the first animation we can do that by calling a function inside the wave object called add anima animation wave dot add animation and uh, in the arguments we need to create a new wave dot animation dot wave object each animations they have different attributes you need to give them so I'm gonna give it a white line color and a width of uh, 10 then a fill cover I'm gonna give it a gradient the gradient of um, uh, now I have already listed a few default colors but you can adjust them to your own needs these are hexaco colors mirrored x is true count 5 now these are few attributes that are quite self-explanatory so I'm not gonna be explaining them each one by one you can you are free to go to wavejs's documentation to look them up yourself you can go to the its uh, official website and this docs click on it the docs tag and uh, you can look through them yourselves frequency band is going to be base so after that we have oops did I do something wrong um, oh okay sorry about that it's animations not animation have our first wave animation added to our canvas and then I'm gonna be showing you each animations as examples which you can try it out the cubes animation these are pretty same patterns to animations so you just give it animation and it augmented the animation object but you know I mean the object inside animations so wave animations are cubes that's how you can give it and the top goes true the top here means I'm, I'm going to be showing you the cube in the top area. Forgot the closing parentheses. So true, and there. Uh, now we give it a 60. Cube height, I'm going to give it a 10. Zero color. Maybe I just give it the same gradient as the previous one. So we can add faster. And the line color, I'm going to give it a RGBA of a 0, 0, 0, 0. And radius of 1. So 
but this is the cubes animation. Maybe we should give it a a yellowy color. So I'm gonna search up a hex color yellow. So maybe we should just give it a like this. Try this out. Maybe. Okay. So I just searched for uh, the, the hex color for yellow and I uh, just added into the field color as a, as a value. So I can change its field color to yellow. Followed by cubes, we'll have a uh, circles. So we added a new circles animation. Please be aware that inside the line color, you need to give two attributes. The first one is the gradient and the second one is the rotation. After that, we have the glob animation. This is our glob animation. Coming up next is the shine animation. You see that uh, shiny, shiny lines uh, circling around the, the middle? That's the shine animation. So now we have two left. The first of the two will be square. Those purpley lines in the center is the square animation. And for the last one, is the ox animation. This line crossed horizontally is the ox animation. Okay, that will be all the animations given from the wave.js library. I will post this source code in the description for you to check it out.